Hey everybody, this is my review of the MSI Pro Carbon Gaming uh, X99 Intel motherboard. I've been using this motherboard for a few months now and found it's a really reliable board. It gives a, a lot of options when you have a, a good healthy processor, one that does uh, 40 PCI Express lanes instead of uh, 28. So this would be more of an extreme board. Uh, you can put in the processors with the 28 lanes, but you will lose some functionality. But I'm running a 6850K uh, running at uh, about 4.2 gigahertz overclocked right now. It's been uh, pretty reliable. I've been doing that for about a week now. I've got uh, a Corsair uh, all-in-one water cooling, which keeps it at a really good temperature um, but the the board itself has been really reliable and I haven't had any any issues what I've done is I actually have two NVIDIA GTX 1070s uh, that I, I run in SLI and because you can't change the color of the of the uh, GeForce GTX logo other than you know completely modding the the card and, and kind of voiding the warranty from what I hear uh, I've left it as green and then decided to change the color of the motherboard RGB lights to green to match but I have run into a few issues with that as you'll see in the video um, some of the lights won't change they're actually just default colors and, and they just won't go light that tells you that it's on which didn't make sense to me but then also uh, if you do decide to overclock, there's uh, two different methods with this board that you can overclock. There's a hardware, which is a little knob where you can actually turn physically on the board, and then also through software in the BIOS, but then also they include a the uh, MSI, I believe it's gaming or console app, and what it does is it'll allow you to do it through software, which then pushes to the BIOS as a software. Uh, overclock. Now when you do overclock then there's another little light that comes on and it's red if you use the hardware and white if you use the software. In my case I've used the BIOS so it's actually a big bright white light and then it does include a power reset and then the the turbo knob and those actually uh, those light up in red as well because well MSI and and they wanted to keep with the red and black theme but really if you're trying to change it with the RGBs uh, then you know it's kind of a they kind of stick out like a sore thumb so I've kind of kind of put up with it and it's a quirk that that I really don't like but but I've uh, I've kind of grown accustomed to I guess I've just kind of put up with it and, and then grown to grown to just you know ignore it but it is something that if you do decide to you know do a lot more say case modding or if you want something to show or or something like that you may want to look into you know turning it off and then providing some lighting in those situations uh, also uh, you may want to consider even a the black and red theme if you do go black and red and, and you do mod the the video cards to match the red then I could see it working just fine. It would be, you know, acceptable and and works great. But but it is kind of a kind of an eyesore if if you were doing a, a different color mod. Now, the white light is a very bright white light. Um, I've actually had times where I've had to put something in front of my the window on my case to to just not be so distracting while I'm working on on things like editing video and such so I do want to do want to point that out as well but uh, other than that it's a really great board um, I'm running 128 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 memory uh, it is uh, on the XMP profile up to 3000 uh, megahertz because that's the memory memory speed that that's uh, that these Trident X's support um, the one issue I have found is sometimes when uh, going into the BIOS or or uh, 
kind of modifying some settings in the BIOS, I have found that even though the XMP profile is turned on, it will drop back to 2666 for some reason. So I have to manually change it to 3000 because it won't detect that it's 3000. And so that's something to kind of keep an eye on as well, is if you do decide to use uh, the DDR4 that is overclocked to say 3000 or, or, or even higher, you want to try and make sure that you know the the actual soft the MSI software that you're using does say show that it's using that speed, or else you'll have to go back in and either modify it manually instead of automatic settings, or disable it and re-enable it. So I have run into that issue. Um, I have only been able to get it to overclock to 4.2 gigahertz stably. Uh, if I get it to 4.4 it will actually cause issues. Now the software itself even says that I should be able to run up to about almost 5 gigahertz and I'll probably play with it a little bit just to see because this is just using their their easy overclocking which is the uh, say the 1 through and this is kind of funny 1 through 11 settings and <clears throat> but I have found if I go anywhere higher than 4.2 with the processor I have, it does kind of uh, get have some issues with Windows 10, and I, I do get a blue screen, and it, it will will crash. Um, but I have found that 4.2 is pretty steady, but that's only a 4 on the software. So I'd really like to see if I can get it up to 6 or 8, So because it says that should be about 4 it kind of jumps in 0.2 increments so it should be about 4.4 4.6 but when you're running 12 threads at 4.2 it's, it's I've noticed a monster difference from 3.6 so it's not like you really you know not like you need that 0.2 but it definitely helps go in the 0.6 higher um, I've run some benchmarks with it uh, I've got really good speeds I do use a uh, the M.2 SSD with a uh, 500 gig uh, M.2 works great. System starts super fast. I actually have a few times where I have to use their software that says boot to BIOS just because the, the posting and BIOS screens go by so fast. Uh, it usually takes about, I would say, anywhere from about six to eight seconds to go from a cold start to Windows 10 login screen. So that is a, a pretty pretty impressive speeds and such for posting and and getting everything started for the system um, other than that it's been a great board uh, it it has some interesting features on it it does have type C um, USB 3.1 runs really fast there is also a type C connector inside the case for f if you decide to go with a case that has a uh, front USB type C it does wow it does have that kind of connector on it so that is is pretty handy but then also if you wanted to run something internally like say if you have a, a neat drive that uses the type C connector or something like that you can certainly plug that in as well um, <clears throat> but it's been a been a good board uh, I haven't had really any any issues with it some of their software is a little quirky and it looks like it really needs to be updated but I, I think that's just part of the part of the package and and really that's that's just something you have to kind of kind of deal with and but it everything works the software works it's compatible with Windows 10 anniversary edition um, I haven't had really any problems with it the only thing is as well with your with your theming if you do go with the you know green or blue or, or something other than the red you have to keep the MSI gaming app open to keep your color because I have noticed when I do go down to a cold boot and start it back up the RGBs will turn red and then as soon as my MSI gaming app kicks in they switch back to green so I have noticed that as well so that's that's something that's a little a little annoying also so but other than that, uh, if you do have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you, 
If you like the review, uh, like the like the unboxing, uh, please let me know. Uh, it's something I've been trying to trying to get down and, and just want to make a, a cool new experience for everybody. So uh, just let me know, and if you like it, you know, give me a, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, even give me the thumbs down. That's that's perfectly fine. I I'll take criticisms and stuff. This is a new starting channel, so you know, please let me know what you think. Uh, other than that, you guys have a have a great day, and thank you for checking out my video and enjoy. <laughs> Okay.